What's going on guys? I'm more than halfway through the process of getting this LS engine put into my 94 Jeep Wrangler YJ behind me. I have my computer sent out for reprogramming right now, so I figure it's a great time to get started on what I believe is the most intimidating part of this whole process, and that is the wiring. I have the original wiring harness here that I pulled with the engine. The initial plan was get the stock wiring harness, plug it into everything that needs to be plugged in, take off the plastic loom, depin all the wires that don't need to be there, rewire the fuse block, it's just a whole big thing. I did attempt to plug everything in before. I found that I was missing the plug for the idle air control and for the throttle position sensor. So those were things I was gonna have to find and then solder back onto the harness, which was kind of annoying. Also, the knock sensor was also missing, the plug for that. So that was something else that I had to solder back on. So they were just missing components on this harness that I didn't really want to have to purchase, solder on, and then have to go through all of that. I figured, let's try something a little different. Let's see the alternative. This is a $120 standalone Amazon harness. With this harness and a reprogrammed PCM, we should be able to run the engine even off of a stand. It comes with everything depinned, repinned, and ready to go. Here we have the red and blue connectors that go into the computer itself. It also comes with a pre-wired OBD2 port. We have a super simplified fuse box and relays for the fuel pump and a bunch of other wires that are gonna be going to our gauges. And where each of those are going is right here in the manual, which is included with the harness. The injector plugs for this harness are for the Moltec injectors. I have the EV1 injectors, so I purchased the adapters on Amazon as well so I could go from the Moltec to the EV1s. Before we get started plugging things in, we're gonna take all of these adapters and plug them into all of the injector harness plugs. Before we begin as well, the harness that I got does not have plugs for the perch solenoid or the EGR. Um, on the computer that I'm having reprogrammed, it's also not going to be using those, so we're going to plug those up with these purge valve and EGR plugs that I got online. And now we can start getting everything connected. First, we're gonna start on the passenger side. We are going to begin with the four injectors. We also have the coil pack plug right here as well. Moving down from there, we have our crankshaft position sensor right below, and that is going to be right next to our starter as well. And so we have these two positive leads that are going to be going to our starter when we have that installed. On the back side of the engine, we have this really long harness here. This has two plugs on it. One of them is for the vehicle speed sensor. The other one I believe is for the reverse lockout. Right here in the video, I'm plugging this long harness into the camshaft position sensor. This plug is actually for the map sensor. The map sensor and the cam sensor look really, really similar. Um, the shorter one is actually for the cam sensor and the long one's for the map. So don't forget that. I'm figuring this out as I go as well. We also have two grounding wires as well that we need to find places for on the block to make sure that we are getting good ground. And I'm not gonna be putting those on right now, but you'll see in my next video how I get those installed. And then the last two things on the backside here, we have our O2 sensor plugs. They're both square and they look like this. Here they are. Moving to the top of the engine, we have our map sensor right here. Remember that will be the long plug, not the short one. I'm accidentally doing the wrong one on the video here. The other plug that we have is for the knock sensor. And now we can move to the driver's side of the engine where we have our four injectors on this side and our coil pack plug. And then finally, on the front of the engine, we have here the plugs for the throttle position sensor. We have the idle air control valve plug. And then we have this one right here, which is actually going to be for our MAF sensor, the mass airflow. And then on the front side of the head here, we have our temperature sender plug. And then finally, this last one here is going to be for our alternator. All right, just a quick recap of the things we have not yet plugged in. We have these two positive leads that are going to be onto our starter when we get that installed. We have our grounds in the back here. We have our O2 sensors here. And then our vehicle speed sensor and our reverse lockout. That is pretty much everything that we're gonna to need to deal with on this harness. There's a few other components like the fuel pump wiring that we're gonna be getting into into the next video. And if you want to keep up with that video and all the other ones that I'm posting for this LS project, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, drop a like and I'll see you on the next one, guys.